Hold on, everyone. I am getting things done. The stream will soon be happening at 12 o'clock sharp. I'm finally enabled such things as meme animations and text chat and chat not only for y'all to uh, say something through Pippo as the uh, Pippo will literally allow y'all to uh, say something through common talk and paid talk. Oh yeah, boy, that just happened. I will now be opening and getting everything soon online. Yet again, I'm still trying to figure things out on my end. As y'all saw on my uh, Twitter slash X account, I have also... Even though it was quite cryptic, it was on purpose that I have replaced my uh, RAM chips in my current desktop. As I was going with just two 8 gig RAM chips, I have currently upgraded them to two 16 RAM chips. That means my RAM is now up to 32%. And I will soon be uh, getting into my Discord through my laptop. Make sure everything goes through okay. So there's not a uh, problem with the streaming experience. As, uh, yeah, I have been working a lot. Today we're going to cover, like, my uh, Discord account. Let me put the music on hold. As we're about to go live. Alright. Let's go to the scene. Hello everyone, so we are here, at least I am here, I hope y'all are all here. Let's get down to the brass tacks, as uh, we got a lot of things to cover today. Or at least, uh, two major subjects. Oopsies. It did not mean for that to happen. Alright. Alright. So, let's get started covering my Discord. This is my public Discord. It's called Seed SG Ops Server. Now, obviously, I've made my first post talking about welcome to the server and all that. Let's get to the uh, verification bots. So this is, I've got recently a verification bot for people to become verified on my public Discord. There are several archer, uh, several things you could do on the text channel. You have your art channel, you have your safe for work art channel. So art channels are basically almost for anything such as a uh, adult industry or even that of battle art 
the bell art is uh, very interesting as there's several things you can do with battle art, but they must take place in a RPG type art setting with uh, monsters across RPGs or even enemies. This is what you can do with the battle art. The adult industry art, as I'm going to pronounce it, will not be featured on any streams or even that of content. Along with the battle art, as due to YouTube Kuhn and that of Twitter Song. That these two types of art are not allowed. Now, with adult industry art, there are several rules. Rule one that I'll be mentioning here no shipping me with other VTubers. I know everybody loves doing this, but no shipping, no hand touching, no lovey feely type stuff with other female or male VTubers. Very important. If you need to do that stuff, you do it on another site, just not on my Discord. <sighs> now, I'll say for work is content that y'all can upload for live streams. Live streams and videos, of course, for y'all to express yourselves in a positive but safe environment. I have put several security features into the security bot that is also a verification bot that monitors everything for me. I know I shouldn't go with a bot, but here's the thing. I am a one-man VTuber creator. This means, obviously, right now, I cannot afford to hire moderators to monitor my Discord and verify other people. So there's ideas and feedback. And this is ideas that you can send me for my VTubers design and feedback. You can also send me ideas for collabs. Doesn't mean they'll happen, but as of right now, this uh, situation that I'm currently, not only I stepped in, but all of uh, the situation of people that are trying to investigate who I truly am and trying to destroy my livelihood have uh, taken their toll. There is an image on my Twitter slash X exposing myself, but not completely. And it's going to be up until 11 p.m. Saturday night. This, not Saturday night, uh, it's like today, it's Sunday night. It's only going to be up until Sunday night tomorrow. The picture, the post, will be deleted soon afterwards. I am not an idiot. I am not a moron. I know internet sites archive this stuff. They continue to archive it. When something goes on the internet, they archive everything. And this should not only scare me, but scare all y'all that do what, what y'all do for the sake of wanting to harm or hurt another content creator. Because when you do it, it's there. It's going to stay there. It's going to be there. All the time. Every time. It's not going anywhere. When you do it online, it stays online. It's there. It's called the internet. The internet is truly a wild, wild west. 
of a digital plane. It is lawless, fruitless at times, and even that of a cold-hearted problem. It's the truth. So, next you got the voice channels. The verified bot is also a security slash verification bot. Y'all have the lounge where y'all can talk in, right here. It is active. And I just realized that disconnect, I just logged into it. Now, community hangout. Obviously, this is where people can hang out and also talk. The lounge is where y'all can talk with me if you want. I will be available from <clears throat> 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Unless something changes as I recently applied for a position and a, a job to be, and I quote, a security slash bar bouncer. Then Fridays at that time will not be happening if I'm hired because the job demands me to be there from 5 p.m. to 12 p.m. at night. That's if I'm hired for it. Now, obviously, if that happens, that means Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I will also guess to be adding Sat uh, Sundays specifically at, I guess, like, because, like, there's several people that do go to uh, certain events, as I should put it, for around two to possibly three o'clock on Sundays. I'll keep y'all up to date if that happens, but it's not gonna happen right now. The community hangout is where y'all can all hang out and talk. If y'all have any situations of individuals that are being cancerous or even that of blaming other people or causing uh, threatening or any shape or form, there will be an investigation done to find out who started it and how we can how I can end it. Then there's the stream room. Obviously, when I get people in my Discord, there will be a stream room where I also stream on Discord and through Twitter slash X. Let's go over the rules. It's a uh, yeah, announcements. Hold on, rules. So these are the rules. Do not break them or a ban will be issued and an investigation will be done. I said okay, but that's okay, I guess. Rule one, no attacking or harassing or falsely accusing anyone on the server if you are being attacked or harassed by another, please contact me or any future moderators. Rule two, 18 years and older. This is not for kids. It's not a playground for them. Be kind, polite, efficient, and professional with a demeanor and attitude. Rule three, no threatening yourself or others with physical harm um, or all parties will get a life ban involved. Rule four, keep a politi keep political, religious, and cultist views or conversations. Finally, debates out of the Discord at all times. This is a Discord for good and funny times. This is where a place where people can express themselves, be happy, and enjoy being around good, humble people. This is rule five. 
Art can be posted, but they must be around the content creator. Therefore, the art will be. Therefore, the art will be expressed. So, what I'm saying here is basically, I really should have worded that better. You will get a shout out on stream, on that of a chat on my YouTube channel. That recently also went through a bit of a change. I went and with obviously my VTuber's name slash alias Commander Devin Lionheart at Seed SG Ops. That is my YouTube channel. That's where you can find me. And it must be safe for work. I'll put it on my streams and YouTube just like I did before and give you a huge shout out for your piece of art. Thank you, one of all, for, um, Commander Devin Lionheart. These are the rules. I wanted to put more, but sadly I cannot. But I think I got down to the point of what the rules are. All right, all right. With that done. This is also the announcement tab. When I do announcements, there's the rules. And there's all you can do on my Discord. It is no longer locked behind a paywall. The art is of a space station out in the middle of the north quadrant of the universe. It's a art from a video game I chose that represents what I want to achieve with a future content slash story. Now, with that out of the way, allow me to do one more thing. And I'm going to bring up my web browser and bring up my Patreon to show the update on my Patreon of what has changed. As I need to go to memberships, I will also be updating my VTubers card poster art on the e character. Let's get started. So this is my Patreon. Here you find out 3D male VTuber, gamer, pun lord, cringe king, and joke master. That's who I am. I want to have I want y'all to have fun in a family friendly environment, but I put an 18 years or older tag on all of my stuff recently for one reason, I've always believed VTubing is a type of an adult entertainment. So, B class bronze hasn't changed. You will be on a B class bronze list on my next video. You get a shout out. That's it. Three dollars a month, US. A class, five dollars a month. You will be on the A class silver list. And you'll get a shout out on that. These are the two where you get some perks. You will be on an S class list for my next video, getting a shout out. See deleted scrap videos that have never hit the internet. So you'll be able to see these videos on my Patreon. It's something I do, so y'all know, you know, what videos never made it. They're kind of like scrap mistakes or blooper videos for y'all to see you will get a shout out on my next video this is triple s class mercenary grade you will see scrapped videos that have never hit the internet the previous one right here of course but uh, the next part finally you will get behind the scenes information on vtuber models i am creating for my top secret projects. I mean, you get top secret information. And you get to see scrapped videos as well. And you get this as a shout out on my videos on YouTube. What has changed here? Simply, I removed the Funko Pop giveaway. It will no longer be happening. I also removed the payment fee for it. It's gone. 
meaning that the payment fee to be on my Discord has been removed. I did this at first so I can find a proper security slash bot system to secure my Discord's safety, not only for me, but everyone involved all on the Discord. With all this now mentioned, and shown to all of you, what, a few things I need to address here today. My internet service is sending a technician to see why my uh, signal is at 0. 0 0.98, as they say this should not be happening. They said it's possibly due to the router being a hugely, hugely a big slab of rock. As I should be getting somewhere around on 6 gigapascals of upload speed. I also, yet again, I'm going to mention updated my um, RAM as I was going with two 8 cards of RAM and now I'm going with two 16 cards of RAM right now giving me 32 ooh, gigs of RAM at my current PC build. This means there will be a quality upgrade on things such as Power World, Final Fantasy 7, and Ever Crisis, Final Fantasy 7, <clears throat> Rebirth, and various other games that I want to play. This enhances the memory usage, what RAM does for these games. And that is really good for my live streams. As I'm still trying to figure out the issue with the online in internet of why my signal is so poor. I know it should be past 10, but sadly, where I live currently, this is not available. As I chose a city that is incapable of moving into near me, is capable of this. I have contacted Verizon, AT&T, VizDat, and various other internet services. There is one that I could go with in the near future. Sadly, their services are not out here in this area yet. Don't ask me how or why they haven't, but they are working on it. I forget their name, but they're a new small-time company that is best for streaming and content creation. They are getting huge waves online and with content creators. Sadly, the area I live in does not have their service, but they're planning to fix that. From Verizon to AT&T to several other companies that I've contacted, they have all said that where I live currently, even though they're out where I live, the area of the overall place I live does not receive their signals. I think they straight up lied to me on this. And I don't know what's going on with their company or companies of why their employees are giving me this grand standard lie from AT&T to Verizon to VizDat, even DISH satellite internet. All of these companies have uh, given me the runaround about their internet services and why they're not allowed out here. Uh, or at least in my current domain of living in the city I live in. I do not know what's going on. And y'all may have seen a change in the uh, streaming process. Because yes, I'm seeing it on my end from my laptop to the right of me. 
as I am monitoring it. And through, obviously, the Streamlabs I'm using on my desktop. If y'all don't think I monitor all this, I do. I know ooh, everything. Everything. I am not an ignorant, blind individual. And I will not be accused of being one either. I have been on the internet for a very long time. I'm going to try to bring up my old Social Blade account. Please allow me for a second to prove my point. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the commands that are still doing that. Yeah, hold on.
Hello everyone, you're probably wondering what the heck is going on.